I don't want to be, nah, I refuse to be that, I ref, yo, I promise you, I refuse to be that, hell no, I, no, I refuse, I, I'll y'all get it, I refuse to be that big, um, no, no, help. Back here again, you know, I just had to put my jewels in my ears. And you know, I have to make it seem like I got money, so I put on this Louis headband. But I feel like the quality of my camera is so much better now. Like, okay, but we're gonna get into this video. Hello, my name is Annie Imani. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for returning because you know we building a family, a squad. You know, click all that inside of this channel. This this viewing experience you feel me but as you can tell by the title this is going to be a video on how i gained so much weight um i'm going to start from the beginning i probably don't have any pictures because when i started gaining weight like trying like actually trying to gain weight i was actually going through something that i don't even want to talk about that's in the past Leave it, it's dead, that's what it needs to be. It needs to stay over there in the trash. Time the three-point arc, fades and fires, and hits at the buzzer! And that's what it's gonna be for the rest of my life. But, um, what year is it? We're in 2020, the year of the trash, because Corona just messed up everything for everybody. <laughs> Coronavirus! <laughs> out here like here but you know anyway so um i initially started trying to gain weight um in 20 when i was 19 i'm 21 now so that's two years ago 2018 so 2018 i was trying to gain weight i asked my doctor how do i gain weight and she told me to take these vitamins so i took these I took these vitamins specifically for women, but I didn't really see like much of a difference. I didn't feel hungry. Like I just didn't have an appetite sometimes. Like sometimes my appetite would be huge. I could eat five times a day, full plate, grown man time and just grub down, eat, do what I gotta do. But that didn't work. So then I started looking on YouTube, of course, and I saw this thing called a vitamin. A vitamin and vitamin, whatever y'all call it, it should be right here. I started taking a pediment. And when I took a pediment, I was tired. I was tired as hell. Like, the first day was always the worst for me because I was never consistent. I'm not a consistent person. I'm trying to be. That was my, one of my New Year's resolutions. One of my New Year's resolutions was to be more consistent with everything I do. But, you know, Corona actually did mess that up. Like, I was doing good until, you know, Rona and her stingy self came out of nowhere. Corona and let me stop talking like that before she come and give it to me. I took it, and the first day I was drowsy. I didn't know what to do with myself. Like I took it. I took um. I think the max is twenty milliliters. Milliliters. I took fifteen. I used to be knocked out for the entire day. So if you're ever thinking about taking a vitamin, you have to take it on a weekend or a day when you know you're not doing anything. The next day you can just sleep through the night. But when I woke up. I was hungry. I was hungry as hell. I ate everything. I finished all my food. But right after I finished all my food, again, I would knock out. So the one week where I was actually consistent with it, um, I used to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I used to eat like three peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every morning. Then I got to work. Uh, then I would eat a full lunch. And then when I got home, I ate my full dinner with maybe a snack on the side. So before I started taking a peanut butter, I was 125 pounds. By the end of me like actually stopping it, I was 130, going on 135. But like I said, I was going through something, so I lost five pounds, so I ended up at 130. 2019 comes, and I think in about, we're gonna say May, I went on birth control, and I stopped taking the pediment. That was, that was it, that was out. I actually still have a bottle, but it's like this much left. I went on birth control for my own personal reasons. So one is to, of course, I got it from Planned Parenthood. Um, 
you need insurance but other than that it's free well at least my pill was free so i didn't do the month thing i did the every three months because i personally don't like getting my period i know that's bad don't judge me in the comments about about how every female needs to get her period i do not like getting my period every time i get my period i have cramps for three days straight on the first day it's the worst i get bloated i look like a whole whale um i feel sick i want to throw up i'm literally dying and advil tylenol leave none of that works for me i would have to take five of them a day and i don't want to overdose just because me being a woman it's so painful i don't i don't have time when they told me that i wasn't gonna get my period for three months i was like okay i was like is there any way that i don't have to take the placebo week when it comes up to the third month she was like yeah just order it the week before you gotta go on the placebo week and i was like let's get it so I'm sorry, I'm watching Lucifer <laughs> before I go any further. Why haven't you liked the video yet? What? Like you here for my face? You here for my backdrop, which is kinda cute. Like, what are you here for? Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to his channel and ring the post notification bell so you can get notified whenever your girl upload like you see i'm doing better like i'm actually coming out with videos for y'all i'm coming out with bangers for y'all like come on come, come on like what what more you want to see let's go i don't think i should be having to remind y'all to like comment and subscribe like y'all should really be doing that this video should really be liked from when y'all saw that i posted this video y'all should have been commented you know oh girl i love you you're so cute yeah i was in the too. too. yeah my birth control now was good and y'all been should subscribe because you know you want to see more period 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 let's get back to the video my birth control was called I started with a J. Jalissa. It was called Jalissa and it came in a three month packet. It was pink. One month filled with pills, another month filled with pills, and then it was another month's worth. But the last week, it was the placebo pills. So I always went to the pharmacy and I was like, can you rush over a new pack so I don't have to get my period? But after a while, I just stopped keeping up with it because I took my pill at three o'clock on the dot every day. But the problem with that is that I would be at work when it's time to take my pill. And I don't like touching pills when I was dealing with money all the time. Because, you know, hands dirty, pills going in my body. I don't want that. And then I don't want to be popping pills in front of the customer's mouth. So I would usually take it after work. Um, when I got it, I was... I usually got off work at 4 o'clock, so instead of taking it at 3 o'clock, I would take it at 4 o'clock. But sometimes I would be in a rush to get the hell out of Target, so um, I just really wasn't thinking about it until I, was, I would see it in my bag when I empty up my bag when I get home. I would be like, I gotta take my, my pill. But I was told that when you don't take it at the time you're supposed to take it every day at that time, it stops working. And I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I was a sexually active person. <laughs> Oh, you know your girl got needs, baby. Oh! I was like, yeah, I can't do this no more. So, um, the first time I ever went to a gynecologist was when I was 20 years old. I know that's kind of late, but my mother was in jacket and she was like, why do you want to go to the gyno for? Y'all six? Why y'all six with? Why you want to go to the gynecologist? So I'm like, all right, mother. My fault for actually wanting to check out my medical pool. pool. I go to the gynecologist. I was like, so are there any other options besides taking the pill? I already knew them, but I just wanted her to reassure me of what it was and what they do exactly. I heard horror stories about the implant that goes right here. I was like, hell no. No, I don't want that. Um, I know it's just a horror story and it affects everyone differently, but I personally had no time for that. But let me backtrack real quick. When I was on the pill, I did not gain weight at all. I know people who took, that were on the pill, and they gained mad weight. Like, they went from, like, like this to, like, whoo, take on all that. So, I didn't experience that. The only thing that I experienced was my first Sunday taking that pill. I was in my bag. I was in my feelings. I was in my go yard bag. I had no behavior. I mean, I was in my bed with an attitude all day. I'm like, it's Sunday. I don't do nothing on Sundays anyway. I just chill in my bed. I was in my feelings. And, um, yeah. 
and that was it. I didn't, I didn't break out. I didn't, none of that other crazy side effects. I didn't gain weight, none of that. All I did was gain my emotions for one day, literally one day, and that was it. I was fine after that. So she told me about the implant. She told me about the IUD, and I was like, no, you're not gonna shove anything up my cocoa roll. You're not doing that. Actually, two of my friends are actually on the IUD, and I was like, y'all can have that, cause next thing you know, while your man is pounding you really hard, um, they they like latch onto it or they move it, and I heard if it moves, it could really mess you up. I was like, I don't I don't have time for that. So I'm like, is there anything that does not go in my body? She told me about the ring. No. Um, she told me about Depo. And she was like, yeah, you just come in every three months. You get a shine either your arm or your butt. And that's it until the other three months. And I asked her what's the side effect. She was like, some people gain weight. Some people lose weight. Some people break out. Um, some people are like, their emotions fluctuate. I was like... Okay, I went with a pill. I was in my bag for one day. She said some people actually clear as their skin. But yeah, I went to try it out. I was like, it's a shot. I don't gotta keep up with it. I don't have to do anything. She was like, as soon as you get it, if you, she was like, if I get it right now, I can have sex. I'm gonna get another day. Oh! And, and I will get pregnant. I was like, cool. I wasn't going to, of course not. But you know, she just saying for reference for all the freaky people out there. If that's what you do, then go ahead and do your thing. So. Um, she was like, yeah, you can get depo, but the only thing is that, um, when you start depo, um, you have to get it while you're on your period, and then when your period stops, that's it. So, when I was on the pill, um, I took the placebo week, and I was dying, like I said. So, I'm in my appointment for that week, I'm going to my doctor, so she was like, so you're on your period? I was like, yep, I am. So, I went to the pharmacy, and when I got the depo, even though I have insurance, it was $80. So I asked her, I was like, is my insurance supposed to cover this? She was like, how much did you pay for it? I said, I paid $80 for this little thing. She was like, that's weird. Your, ins your insurance should cover the whole thing. I got the shot. I was fine. I got the little shot of my booty. I'm okay with needles. I have four tattoos. I have mad piercings. I had more that I'm going to get back when Rona goes away. Corona back! It literally took two seconds and she put some numbing thing in it so I wouldn't feel it. So I was just like, all right. So I got that, put up my pants, and left. I got it. We're going to say, we're we going to say July. We're going to say July. That is when I got depo. I didn't really notice that I gained weight because I'm like, okay. So my birthday came. I was in Mexico. I was chilling. I had a little party for my birthday. And everyone was like, oh my God, your butt got bigger, your titties got bigger. I didn't notice any of this. I'm like, no, it didn't. I'm still skinny. Like, I was never skinny. Okay, let me not drag it. I was skinny. Not skinny. I was, like, slim. But I had a nice little shape and I had, like, a little tummy. I thought I was fat, personally, because I always had, like, this little pouch ever since I was little. No matter how slim I was, I always had, like, a little pouch at the bottom of my stomach it would not go away i'm gonna just assume it's baby fat and i'm gonna just leave it there i think it's cute but in certain stuff just like it just be hanging there like mm. around thanksgiving is when i truly noticed that i did gain weight so i got the shine july august september october so the next time i went was october and she took my weight i was about because i was still like 135 she said i'm 150 so I'm looking at her, I'm like, you sure? I go back. No, like when she left the room, I went on the scale myself and I weighed myself. It said 149. I'm like, right. me? This is how I really know this. So I always wore a 34B, right? I went to Victoria's Secret. Shorty was like, look, whew, I was a 34 C, so my son B. <laughs> I went around Christmas. She was like, you're a 34D. D. It's around Christmas that just passed. D. I was like, D? He a D? So I was like, I know it's a little hype. She ain't dead. 
Oh, this is Bonnie and Clyde. All right. I threw away all my old drawers and my mom got me some new ones. So at this point, I'm in 34D. So go back in January, she weighs me again. I'm about, I was 150 before. I'm like, we're gonna say like 155, around 160. And I'm like, where is all of this coming from? Like weight gain is a side effect, but I thought it would never happen to me for the simple fact that when I was on the pill, nothing happened. So she was like, yeah, and some people you will lose weight. I'm thinking I'm gonna be one of those people that just stays red. I didn't get on birth control to gain weight. I just didn't want to get pregnant. And I don't like to get periods. I hate them. I wish Eve never ate the apple and all that other stuff. So we won't have to deal with this as women. That's me personally. I'll go back to Victoria's Secret with my brother's girlfriend because she wanted to get some clothes and ask him to measure me again. No. I lied. I went back, I think, in February, just because they was having a sale for Valentine's Day. So I go back and I get measured again. Shorty was like, you're a 36 D to double D. And I'm like, oof, a 36 double D to D. There's no way I keep buying bras. Like bras ain't cheap in Victoria's Secret. I'm like, where to who? I'm a 36 D double D. She's like, yeah, try it on. I try the double D. It's a little bit too big. So I try the D. It's perfect. The 36 D is perfect. I'm like, what in the hell? Like, I was like, nah, son, son gotta get, I need to stop. I'm good at the 36 B. I'm not about to be nobody's 38 F G H I J K. None of that. I'm good at the size I am. I am small. I am five foot two. What I look like with boobs that hang to my knees and a big bump pop, you know what I mean? Mm. So I got the 36 D bras. I brought all of my other ones back. I exchanged them, so we good now. I went to the doctor yesterday to get my new depo shots. I was like, is there any way that I could like slow down the weight gain? I was like, if I work out, will I be able to like keep the weight that I'm at now, even though it makes you gain weight? She was like, yeah, but you have to like, be on it i actually work at a gym that's the crazy part and rona wanted to come and close down everything coronavirus i would have been working out every day after my shift like i'm like hey, yo scan my free black card woke up in there do my little workout and go home she weighed me again i'm 168 do i look like i am 168 i don't look that big that's why i'm like where it, it can't be my stomach because my stomach is not huge at all like i got a little like you know side and back fat like that'll go away easy once i get to town on these workouts that i'm about to do after this video but i'm like where is this 160 i'm like i know boobs like carry weight and whatnot but it cannot be that much so i'm gonna stand up at the end of this video and i'm gonna show y'all like what my body looks like because there's there's no way there's no way there's no way so um yeah so i went to the doctor yesterday i'm 168 now i'm not trying to hit 180 that's why i draw the line that's a little bit close to 200 160 168 i'm i'm cool with i'm cool with that if i get to like 165 and stay between if i can stay between 160 if i can stay like between 165 and 150 I'm cool. I don't want to be. <laughs> nah, I refuse to be that. I ref, yo, I promise you, I refuse to be that. <laughs> hell no, I, no, I refuse. I, how do y'all get it? I refuse to be that big. I um, no, no, no. <laughs> I refuse to be that big, boo. Hell, <laughs> I, I. Tell me if I'm wrong. No offense to big girls or big females. If you're comfortable like that, that's you. But me, I've been small all my life. So buying new clothes all the time, I'm a medium. I'm not going to nobody's large. No offense, but I'm good at medium. I, I hated being a small, but I like being a medium. But then when I started shopping in medium clothes, I realized that everybody named grandmother be trying to wear size medium. But 
y'all don't even be fitting a medium for real y'all really be a large but y'all want to fit in medium size clothes like get your size it'll look great on you get your size that is basically how i gain most of my weight depo it doesn't do that for everybody i'm i'm gonna stress this because i had another friend that was on depo she she did blow up a little bit but not as much as i did so i guess for certain and i know another friend that was on depot she was fine she didn't gain no weight her face was fine she didn't do nothing it was just regular birth control for her birth certain birth controls does certain things like my other friend she's on the iud she's fine it cleared up her skin that's about it but yeah but <laughs> Like, don't get on birth control thinking you about to be thick ones like me. It can happen, but it's not a guarantee. It's whatever your body feels like doing. I'm actually going to show y'all what I'm working with at this point at my 168. And y'all can judge for yourselves. If I can find a picture of how I used to look when I was, like, slimmer, I would gladly do that. I really doubt I do. All I have is pictures from when I was in high school. And it's been about... It's been about it's been four years since i've been out of high school so yeah we're we're just gonna see what you girl got going on right now at this point you heard mm. i'm gonna get rid of this but that is what i am looking like right Next time you see, nah, not next time you see me because y'all are going to see me like this for a little while. But next time I show my body on camera, um, just know you're going to see a different body. And that's on period. 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 But you know, I hope you guys like this video. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe, like. What are, you, what are you doing? Like, I know you're at home bored, not doing nothing. Um, we're all quarantined in the house, not supposed to be going nowhere, remember? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna subscribe, you're gonna hit the bell button, ding, and you're going to binge the rest of my videos. And that's on what? That's on what? That is on period pool and that is on that. Period. Love you guys, bye.